So, lesson number two. In this lesson, we're going to talk about the use of the left hand. Now, in the first lesson, we learnt about these four strings. C, G, D, A. Do you remember those? OK. Now, for the second lesson, we're going to learn about putting the left hand on the string. And by putting the left hand on the string, we can change the note. Listen, I'm plucking an open D string, and now I add fingers, and the pitch changes. So, there's a way in which we have to put our left hand on the string. The first thing to note is the shape of the hand has to be like this. And the best way to get this shape is to use a cup, or maybe a can or a bottle of Sprite or something. Put it like that, and that's the right shape for your hand. It goes over there. Also, you notice my fingers are spread out, they're not touching each other, and there'll be some dots on your cello that I will have put on in your second lesson, which will help you to find out how, to, how far to spread your fingers. Um, if you've got small hands, you might have to work quite hard to get them spread far enough. So that's the finger spread. The third thing to notice is um, the straightness of the arm here. It's very important that this wrist is straight. There's a little story about this. There's a mouse that lives in your hand here, and he likes cheese, and he likes skiing. So he needs to get on top of the mountain, ski down here to the cheese shop at your elbow. Now, if there's a dip in the thing there, you can see he's going to get stuck. Or if there's a bit of a bump there, then he's going to fall off a cliff there. So keep your wrist nice and straight, and you can see that's the perfect way to use the left hand. There are three more exercises that we're going to learn to help us use the left hand. First is um, the same rhythm as before, cappuccino coffee. Do you remember that? Cappuccino coffee. Now, we're going to do it, first of all, with the outer finger, and then with just the first finger. So like this. Cappuccino coffee. Rest. Rest. Now, first finger. Now, taking the finger off in the rest. Now, putting it on in the rest. There we have it. So, that's the first exercise. And uh, once you've got that with the rest, try it without the rest. That's a little bit more tricky. Okay, next exercise is a bit more complicated. The fingering pattern is like this. It's in your book. 0, 1, 3, 4, 3, 1, 0. So this is the first exercise we're going to use all of our fingers. And instead of using the cappuccino coffee rhythm, we're going to just use coffee. So like this. Coffee, rest. Coffee to three. show you that one more time so that you can look at my fingers. Good. So, I hope you saw that my fingers kept nicely bent, they kept spread apart and my elbow, my arm kept straight all the way through that. Final exercise is an, another fingering, 4310, still on the D string. I'm going to start with cappuccino coffee rhythm. So, like this cappuccino coffee on four, down to three, rest, rest to one, rest, rest, no fingers. To note about the left hand is that when you lift the fingers up, it's best to keep them close to the cello. Can you think of the reason for that? Well, if you want to play really fast, and eventually I think everybody does, you, it's, if your fingers are really going far away from the string, you can see they can't be fast like that. If they're really close, you can do lots of fast stuff like that. Okay? So, fingers close to the string, bent fingers, straight arm and some space in your hand.